And my name is Maro and I'm the founder of Awakening Games. And in this video, I want to talk about vulnerability with self, others, and the universe, and how crucial it is to create a meaningful life, a fulfilled life. It's actually the only way we can access the most vulnerable place within ourselves, the most neglected, rejected, abandoned, shamed place, where we have actually, you know, hidden our inner child and pushed it away from us so that we don't feel any pain. And if we don't know how to access this pain and connect with it and love it and integrate it and heal it, then how are we going to be fulfilled in our own beingness and therefore from here project this fulfillment onto our outer world in relationships and in the life we're wanting if you know another way please let me know share with me i'd love to know now please wait and watch until the end because it's important for you to but also because what i will be sharing with you is how to get from where you are right now step by step to where you want to be closer and closer so you have the guidelines now a small parenthesis i am in the process of creating amazing game shops which are workshops right there are courses online courses that i'm creating at the moment and i'll be posting them under every description box so um stay tuned for that and in these um games we actually through this process of healing trauma and integration i uh, provide you with guided meditation and we go deep into the subconscious and unlock those locked places within ourselves, and we go and integrate more and more of who we are and project this integrated version of self on our outer world i take you by the hand it's a very loving process it's a very um yeah empathic and loving process um because i do respect uh the ego <laughs> the pain of the ego because pain is experienced by the ego and i have great respect for it and understand how it functions and um yeah and so if you would you know if you find that these videos this content resonates with you please don't hesitate to share like subscribe and comment below and um also stay tuned for the courses i would love to receive your feedback on them how the journey was with you um for you actually i i i really love the process of creating uh, content and courses and yeah this needed me to access some of my vulnerability within myself because we talk about a lot about the vulnerability with others but you see when we're suffering from trauma to be vulnerable is actually a life or death situation for the ego. It's very scary. And so the most loving and compassionate thing to do first is to learn how to be you know, vulnerable within our own selves. And then step by step from there, cultivate that relationship and then we can actually emotionally simulate this and recreate it everywhere else. But we have to start where we need it the most, within our own bodies to feel safe. So how we do this, um, it's interesting because what we usually do that doesn't work is we project all our unhealed wounds on everybody else. And to be able to access to you know whatever is really hurting within ourselves, we would need to allow to be triggered by other people or by our own thoughts alone um, or emotions that just come up, right? And because our default mode is to survive, therefore not grow, therefore defend ourselves from triggers, protect ourselves from triggers, make others wrong, cut them out from triggers. This is not a very, you know, um, this is not a growth mindset, actually. So if we cannot access this, those painful, painful parts of ourselves, how will we grow? That's the question. So yes, trauma does this. So when we have not healed our trauma, which means to be able to heal our trauma means to actually validate this experience, the pain. 
of you know um allowing to receive a trigger feel through it become the parent the person that we would want for mothers to be train that muscle again and again and again and you know go to the other extent to want to be triggered i know this sounds a bit weird or maybe somebody would judge it as you know masochistic it's not <laughs> It's actually, no, because we could ask for increments of uncomfortable situations so that we can train ourselves. So we can do it on our own and allow others when we feel safer and safer to do so. We don't have to go into huge triggers with people that we feel very unsafe. But even there, once we've exercised our muscle of self-responsibility, that actually is the outcome. The more and more we allow to feel, which is self-vulnerability, right? To allow to feel our emotions fully is becoming vulnerable with self. And we allow for this process more and more, the more we understand that feeling our uncomfortable emotions, the negative ones, yes, <laughs> is actually not a life or death situation. It's not dangerous. On the contrary, once we embrace them, it's actually beneficial. It's loving for ourselves. It's the integrative work, the healing work. And that's how we become fulfilled within ourselves. And in order to become, you know, the version of ourselves that's living this fulfilled life, we would want to become that being that is, you know, fulfilled within her or himself, within their emotional being, their internal world, their inner world, internal world. And so how we would, do, how I would do this, I'll tell you what I do and how it shift almost all my relationships. Um, to becoming like that. Like, actually, my parents became awakened. I know that we don't hear this a lot in the spiritual journey, but my parents and my brother have awakened. <laughs> they didn't do any spiritual work at all. And this is actually coming into conflict with what it is I'm doing here, right? <laughs> but we only need to change one person, and then everybody else is interconnected with that person. They shift, they heal, they awaken. So, yeah, my parents and my brother have not gone through the spiritual journey at all. All the other people around me, my friends, and the person I am connected with spiritually, I call my twin flame, they have done a lot of work. Now, um, yeah, how would you explain this? How would you explain that these people did not do any spiritual work, healing work, and they are awakening to the wisdom that I am cultivating within me by doing the work, doing the inner work, doing the healing. This is just the quantum explanation of how things work, right? So how I started is by doing this. I started taking, because you see, in order to be able to focus and heal something, we need to make it specific and small and focus on one thing at the time. That way it's not big and we just don't lose it. So I would take one relationship every week that would trigger me trigger my inner wounds and i would say okay let's go i want to feel everything <laughs> this is becoming vulnerable right within our own self within our body and the moment i would feel it i would allow to feel the sensations in my body and just call in my presence by just saying i'm here for whatever is happening not leaving i'm here and this is dedication right this is commitment this is something that i chose so that i can grow instead of allow my default mode to play out my trauma you know the trauma that's the activated um, the reptilian mind that's activated and that it just projects and it, you know we just um resist fight flight freeze and nobody wins anything from that right so now with the growth mindset what i did was i said i called in the reactivity i called in the triggers i called in all those parts of myself that until now i didn't want to see and feel and instead i said i want to be with myself there no matter how uncomfortable it is no matter how painful it is and so no it was not something that was easy because it's um a training that we need to do with ourselves because we forget ourselves you know there and so i would bring in my focus in my body 
And as I was bringing in the I am presence within my body, at some point, the I am here for you became the universe's or God's voice. This presence, this unconditional presence. This third energy. So there was that part of me that's in pain, the part of me that says I'm here. And then there was another part that was open and infinite that was, you know, being present within this experience for me. And so just calling in our presence again and again and calling in discomfort. I know it sounds counterintuitive and in that moment we actually do not believe that this is the way of loving ourselves or to love ourselves. Um, the ego just wants to survive, it doesn't want to grow. So it will persuade us with different ways, it will try to, um, different thoughts that this is not working. But the more we bring in our focus and pull it in, in our bodies and want to feel through this experience by being present with us, the more vulnerable we become. The more we shed off of the illusion of Maya, of the programmings, the more we strip our masks away and we see through other people, not assuming for them, on the contrary, seeing through their pain instead of fighting their projection where we're fighting ours, right? We fight theirs, they fight, they fight ours or vice versa, it's the same thing. We're fighting our own, they're fighting our own and we're doing it the one before the other. So this way is the healing way to becoming our authentic self, our vulnerable self. And um, this way is the way that teaches us how to actually communicate from the heart instead of from the mind. It teaches us how to set loving boundaries and not build up walls. It gives us access to what it is we're wanting and how to communicate that. It's not easy. This is for another video, but yeah. It gives us access to that inner power that's not com coming from the egoic, you know, uh, facade of power. I don't need the other people. No, I'm honest, vulnerable, and real. And the more and more we are accessing our self vulnerability, vulnerability with self, the more people feel safe to be around us and be themselves, and we feel the same with them. And as we cultivate this kind of relationship within ourselves and others, well, guess what? Our reality starts popping up and bringing us into contact in situations that is for us. It allows for the things that are coming from our heart to be accessible and to be able to ground them and to materialize them. And so this is the way that I have shifted and transformed all of my relationships, almost all. <laughs> And I am continuing to cultivate this um, vulnerability with self and authenticity with self and empathy with self more and more feeling safe within my body and healing my trauma. So if you need anything else on this topic, please don't hesitate to reach out. I love creating content with you, with you and for you. See you in the next one.